I wish he had listened to me. It probably would have gone differently. There I was, yelling at him through my TV. Run to the farm. Run your family from a farm. This is the way things would have gone. You would have given up the fancy car and chauffeur for a horse. Those darn FBI agents would have pushed back against their bosses for trying to do aggressive surveillance on a hard-working cowboy. Yes, Chin would have slave-drived you and you would have to milk the cow and gather the morning eggs. You'd be under the cow so much the FBI agents would start thinking you're the underboss because you're under the fucking cow so much. Yes, you could still wear your Briani suits on the farm. This would frustrate the agents because they think you're chin in reverse, you know, with the same mental in the head thing. But now you could play, you can play that to the max and it would discourage prosecution. Yes, you'd still get the bitches in the booze because I'd have you throwing pole dancing naked strippers party at the funeral homes when someone died. I would have VIP bitches in the back on mattresses waiting for you. Look, look at what would play out at those funerals. Booze, bitches, line snorting off the bare ass of those bitches, lap dancing, money flying everywhere, dice games, card games, and bear drinking contests. Look, this is a lesser sin, you know, than girls, you know, naked girls doing rodeo dancing in the funeral home. The FBI agents wouldn't even know about this because it's different from the normal public visitation. Yes, you'd still enjoy the fine foods of New York. A messenger would bring that stuff to you every freaking day. The agents would see different cars going in every day, so they wouldn't even blink an eye. Yes, you could run the family from the farm, because a different messenger would bring you the information from the underboss, whom the FBI would start thinking is the fucking boss. Yeah, like what Chen pulled off with Fat Tony. The agents would start coming out less because they wouldn't see any fucking thing. Yes, the FBI agents would still be doing surveillance. But I'd send them two of our finest, sexiest bitches and compromise them in photos and send those pictures to their wives. Yes, you'd receive less attention from the press and the public, but you'd own this town with your occasional presence. They'd eat from your hands when they see you. Yes, the agents wouldn't go away. But they have to use helicopters sometimes. So they could, so they, they, they would be confused because everyone would be wearing cowboy gear. So good luck identifying motherfuckers from above. Yes, you'd have less communication to your world, but there'd be no fucking recording. Because I'd have you living in the guest house in the back? Now, they'd never fucking think you'd live in the back. Yes, you'd miss some sit-downs in Brooklyn and on Mulberry. But the haters at the FBI office would change from you being the boss to someone else being the boss. Totally screwing themselves. Yes, Al Capone is your standard. 
and that and that mafiosa DNA runs deep. But we need to think more Al Sharpton and Clint Eastwood. Now, which jury would convict an urban cowboy? A cross between Al Sharpton and Clint Eastwood on mafia charges. And fuck their lying tapes, okay? The only tapes that matter are glimpses of the urban cowboy on his ranch. Let me ask you, Mr. and Mr. Jury, Mr. and Mrs. Jura, how would you vote? Would you vote for lying tapes? Or would you vote for old country and western values on a horseback arriving at the July 4th fireworks show on horseback and handsome cowboy gear? Case closed. I'm waiting for the next funeral to arrange the next party.